Good afternoon, folks. We've got an update on space weather events here, what we're watching for, and what we're concerned about. So both NASA and NOAA's Enlil spirals are now updated, and both are suggesting that the X-class solar flare early this morning may actually impact Earth with its CME. The models are showing the CME mostly heading north as we discussed this morning, but both also show the southern edge of the CME heading for Earth with an impact timing of late on May 5th. I have to admit, I question this forecast. Here's the SOHO coronagraphs, and to my eye, it looks like the entire ejection is heading north. Therefore, I have to call this a low chance of impact. But that's not all we're looking for. These coronal holes just turned through over the last 24 hours, and their central heliographic latitude tells me we have a very high chance of coronal hole impact. That would be about May 6th. Finally, from the last two days' videos, please remember the CME we analyzed off the departing limb that we gave a 50-50 shot of a glancing blow. That one would be due tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night. So putting that all together, we have about that 50-50 shot of a glancing blow tomorrow, the CME from the X-Class flare, which I give a low chance of impact late on May 5th, and then the near-certain coronal hole stream impact on the 6th. Depending on if the CMEs hit, this could be anywhere from minor geomagnetic instability up to relevant geomagnetic storm conditions. So forecasting the KP is kind of impossible at this time. But either way, right now, my brain is still reeling from yesterday's geomagnetic storm, trying to reconcile the magnitude given the weak solar wind plasma data. As we await the solar wind from these events and watch for more flares and eruptive activity, my mind is firmly set on how vulnerable Earth has become amidst the ongoing magnetic excursion and pole shift. Subscribe and I will see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.